Today I'm sharing the five best free tools to help you make amazing YouTube videos even if you're a total beginner. And by the way, these are the actual tools that I've been using to grow my channel. So ensure you watch to the end because I'm also going to be showing you the best way to use them to ensure that you get the results that you're looking for. So tool number one is ChatGPT and ChatGPT helps you with brainstorming your ideas. And the good thing about ChatGPT, unlike the other brainstorming idea tools that are out there, is ChatGPT helps you with the entire process. So you can use ChatGPT to actually get the idea and then you can use it to create a script you can even use it to suggest for you thumbnails let me show you a prompt example give me five youtube ideas for beginners so we're just going to enter this okay so you can see it's giving us some video ideas here for example this first one here says how to start a youtube channel in 2024 a step-by-step -step guide and then it tells us what we're actually going to do in the video so we have walk beginners through the entire process of starting a youtube channel from creating an account setting up the channel banner and so on and so forth so if you look at this second one here it's actually the video that we're creating now five free tools every youtuber beginner needs to know so i like the fact that when you're brainstorming ideas with chat gpt it sort of feels like you're talking to your friend because the prompt that we can use after this one is to tell it exactly what you're going to be saying in the video so this is my prompt give me the youtube script video flow for whichever idea so this one we want it to go with idea number two here that is the one we have liked and then we tell it to include a possible thumbnail viral tips and even how to promote my video so that is what we are going to enter here so you see ChatGPT gives you this whole implementation idea that you can use. So we have the introduction, so it could be from 0 seconds to 30 seconds. And then we have the opening line. So even if you've never done a video before, ChatGPT tells you how you can introduce your video. When we go to the second one here, we have the tool. So this could be the first tool. We have the introduction. We have how to use the tool and even a tip there. And then we continue all the way up to the fifth tool and then in the last step here where we're doing the conclusion it even tells us what our call to action could be and i also like the fact that it's even giving us some viral tips and even how we can promote our video for example we could use social media we could use the community post and even an email newsletter so you can see how comprehensive this is and even for someone who's never done a youtube video before they can really start to feel that it is not so overwhelming because if they follow this script exactly as it is they already have a video and you can always improve from that and by the way if you're enjoying this video ensure you subscribe to the channel because i'm going to be creating a lot more videos like this let's continue so the second tool is vidiq and you use vidiq to do research for your ideas for example if you go back to what we've gotten from chat gpt so i can just copy this then we're going to come back to vidiq here and then we can just go to where it says keywords paste in our keyword here yeah i'll just remove that then we can enter so you see this is the overall score for our keyword so you can see the search volume here but you can also see that the competition is very high so let's search a different keyword for example amazon kdp because people are really like to know how to create those and you can see that for this one the search volume is high and also the competition is low so this would be a really good keyword for you to target then you can also see related keywords here so all these are different other topics that you could get that are just coming from this particular keyword yeah so that is how you can use vidiq and vidiq is really awesome and you can use it for free you can use the link in the description to sign up so the third tool and it is one of my favorite i think everyone should be using is canva and you can actually use it for free i'm going to leave a link in the description down below so that you're able to sign up for your free account so canva allows you to create any design that you'd like and more specifically because we are talking about youtube you can create many many designs that you'd like to use for your youtube channel if i come to this search bar here i can be able to write youtube intro and you can see we have some youtube intro templates here yeah so you have numerous templates that you can use for your intro let's see this one here yeah, I think this one looks really catchy. So you can see this one is a pro one here, but you can actually use Canva for free. Personally, I'm on the pro version and this is because the pro version allows you access to these really cool templates. If I go back to the search bar here and maybe we search for um, YouTube thumbnail. Yeah, because you're going to be creating a lot of thumbnails if you're going to be creating videos. You can see we have lots of thumbnails here and you can pick any of these to be a template that you're going to use. Yeah, again, this one is a pro one, but I think we can also get a free one. I think this is a free one. 
yeah so you can use this to be your youtube thumbnail yeah so that's for the thumbnails but you can also use canva to create for you youtube artwork for example the youtube banner yeah you can see if i search for youtube banner here i have numerous options that i could select from and the youtube banner is usually what you have here at the top so that's your youtube banner and you can also even create your profile picture just from that and even the graphics that you use in between your videos you can get them from canva you have like a whole selection of photos videos even ai images that you can use in between your videos another thing that canva can help you do is actually editing your video so if you go to the search bar here again we'll just write video here now so it's youtube video and you just select one of the templates here if you want to start out with a template i could go with a blank uh, canvas here yeah, so you can see we have our first scene here and then you can continue adding other scenes into your video. I actually have an entire tutorial showing you how to use Canva to edit your videos. So if you're a complete beginner, you don't know where to start, you've never edited a video, ensure you watch that video because it's going to really come in handy. I'll leave it in the description down below. Now the fourth tool is CapCut. So if you don't want to use Canva to edit your videos or you want them to seem a little bit more professional but you're still a beginner, you can use CapCut. And you can use CapCut for free. You can either use it on the desktop version or you can use it online. Personally, I like to use the desktop version. I find it so much more easier and I have a lot of tutorials showing you exactly how to use CapCut for editing. So check out some of the links I'm going to leave in the description showing you how to create story videos. I have shown you how to edit using CapCut in there. And CapCut is a really powerful video editor other video editors that you can use is davinci you can also use davinci for free but i think CapCut is a good place to begin so you just import all the different clips that you're going to be using for your video and then you import all the graphics that you want to use inside of the video the ones you've created maybe from canva and then you just start placing them as you want them to appear in the video the other thing that CapCut helps you with is that you can actually add captions to your videos so if you go to this text button here and then you click on auto caption and then just generate captions for your video you're going to have the captions and then you can edit them as you like i'm going to leave some of those tutorials in the description section now tool number five is the youtube audio library and this is going to give you access to copyright free music you just go to your youtube studio and then you just scroll here to where it says audio library and then you're going to have like an entire selection of music that you can choose from for example i could say that i'm looking for something that is um kids Maybe a kids like song sort of thing. Um, let's play some of this. Yeah, maybe I could use that for like a kids animation, a video that I want to put out. Let's see another one. So now you have five tools that you can use to start creating your videos. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite or which one you'd like to have a more detailed tutorial on. Ensure you also subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this. My name is Paris and I'll catch you on the next one.